Hey, what's going on, y'all? This is your man, Pristine, back with another video. Man, it's been a while since I've made a video. I've had some family things going on, had a relative pass away. I was heavily involved in afterlife care. Um, so I'm finally just getting back in the swing of, you know, getting my videos going, um, you know, and getting back to doing what I love doing. One of, the main, one of the main things that I love doing, I really love and enjoy making these videos for you guys and getting my hands on the latest devices, being able to play around and try out these different phones and things of that nature. Uh, uh, that, things of that nature. I love doing it, man. So um, it feels good to, to start getting back in the swing of things. And, I, you know, I, I, I'm going to kind of get back into it with possibly a little, a little, a little controversy. Um, I've got before you guys the Essential Phone and the Galaxy Note 8, and this video is entitled My Top 5 Reasons as to Why I Believe that the Essential Phone is a Better Device than the Note 8. Now, we all know that the Note 8 is an absolute beast, okay? It's, it's, a, it's a freak phone, you know what I mean, if you will. Not in a bad way, but it's just like, just think of like a, like a, like, 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 like a, just like a freak athlete, like a specimen, you know what I'm saying? It's like when you think of... You know, you know, these are the types of people you think of when you think of like, you know, you know, major athletes and things of that nature. Well, it's like, you know, the, the Note 8 is the, the big athlete on the block in the, in the mobile world uh, uh, community. You know what I mean? And, you know, everybody knows about the Note 8. You know what I'm saying? There's several videos that people have put out about all the different features and functionalities, the S Pen. You know, we all know what it's capable of, you know, and, and, and rightfully so. You know, I mean, the props that it gets, you know, it's well deserved. Um, but it's not to say that everything that the Note 8 offers is for everyone. You know what I mean? There's some people that are going to like other options. You know, some people feel like the Note 8 right now is the best phone on the planet. And if that's how you feel, I respect that. You know what I mean? Um, I think it's one of the dopest phones out there. But it's not to say that there aren't other phones out there that aren't just, just as dope, if not better. Again, that's just a matter of opinion. You know, so... You know, I, I can already, you know, hear, you know, the, 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 the judgment and, and the crucifying going on and, you know, oh, what is this guy talking about? The essential phone over the Note 8? Is he crazy? You know, hey, this is just my opinion. Respect it. You know, if you feel differently and you feel like the Note 8 is just completely obliterating and destroying the essential phone, I, I respect that, that opinion as well. All right. So let's get into it. Top five reasons. Reason number one, the price. The Note 8 is priced ridiculously, okay? The retail price is $929.99 plus tax. That's taking you well over $1,000 for a device. Now, even the Note 8 being what it is in all its glory, ask yourself, is it really worth $1,000? You know, now I had some people tell me, they're like, you know what? The Note 8 is worth $1,000. If a phone is priced that high, it's worth it. Because think about it. It's not like an object that you're just buying and you're sitting somewhere in your home and it's just collecting dust. This is a phone that, you know, and it's 2017, y'all. So cell phones now are just as, if not more important than your wallet. You know what I'm saying? You've got your passport information in your phones. You've got your debit card information in your phones. I mean, you've got mobile pay options, Apple Pay, Samsung Pay, Android Pay. You know what I'm saying? You've got a bunch of different apps to be able to, you know, uh, wirelessly transfer money from one account to the next or to other people. You know, Venmo, the cash app, PayPal, you know what I'm saying? All this stuff can be accessed and used through your cell phone. I mean, so I get it. And, and that was a good point. That, that is a good point. I mean, you know, but when there's cheaper options out there that do the same thing, you got to kind of you got to kind of ask yourself, is it worth paying a thousand dollars for a phone? When there's other devices out there that do the same shit, you know, they may not have as pretty as a screen as the Note 8. They may not have the S Pen and all of its glory, but a lot of people don't even use that. You know what I'm saying? So $1,000 for a device is just ridiculous in my opinion. And the OEMs, they have no intentions of dropping the prices because they know that we're going to pay that money. They, they charge these ridiculous prices and they get it. You know, as soon as these phones are announced and they go on pre-order, man, pre-orders be sold out just like that. You know what I'm saying? The stores be flooded. You know, it's crazy. Now, the essential phone here is priced at a cool $699. So this is the unlocked version. I got two of these phones, man. This is the unlocked version. This is the Sprint variant right here, okay? I had to get it unlocked, man. I couldn't be carrier-bound with the essential phone, man. You know, the essential phone is being sold exclusively at Sprint. So if you're a Sprint customer, you can get your hands on the essential phone, which is what this one is right here. This is the Sprint variant. 
After using it for a little while, I was like, man, I need that unlocked, man. I need to be able to throw my T-Mobile SIM up in there with no problems. And this phone is actually GSM and CDMA unlocked. I mean, so I can take it to any carrier and use it. So, you know, with tax, $769.99. Now, that's still up there, but I think it's worth every penny. Don't listen to what you hear other reviewers say. A lot of reviewers have slammed this phone. They slam the camera. <laughs> I'm like, fellas, what are y'all talking about, man? Now, I'm no camera expert, but the camera on the Essential phone takes some beautiful, stunning photos, man. And you guys stay tuned. I'm still I'm still working on editing the uh, the camera sample and video sample videos and the full pristine reviews for both of these devices. Um, So stay tuned for that. That's going to be coming real soon. Um, But, you know, I mean, the camera's solid. I mean, it's a decent phone, man. I mean, it's a really dope phone. I, I like it a lot. So my first reason is the price. You know what I'm saying? Um, number two, the fingerprint sensor. Now let's turn these devices over. Let's turn these devices over. Now you guys already know, man, the S8, the S8 Plus, and the Note 8 slammed on the fingerprint sensor placement, right? Slammed on the fingerprint sensor placement, and rightfully so. Now if you look at the Essential phone here, if you look at the Essential phone here, where's the fingerprint sensor, right? When I hold this phone, Snappy fingerprint sensor. My finger's right there in the fingerprint sensor, resting comfortably right where it always is when I hold this device, right? Now, put the essential phone down, grab the Note 8. Now, again, I've got small hands. This is how I hold the Note 8. When I turn it around, look how far the fingerprint sensor is from my finger. Now, right here where my index is, this is where the fingerprint sensor should be on the Note 8. But you know, you know, Samsung and I don't I don't know what they saw, you know, and the thinking that it was, you know, uh, uh, ergonom- er- ergonomically legit to put the fingerprint sensor right next to the camera. I mean, I think that was an asinine idea. But on top of that, to, e- to, to even access the fingerprint sensor, I have to wedge my finger up. So you see how much work I just had to do to get to the fingerprint sensor? And it works. I mean, you know, it's it's pretty it's pretty spot on. I mean, every time you touch it, it opens the phone up. But it's just a lot of work you got to get to it, uh, a lot of work you got to put in to get to it. And oftentimes you end up placing your finger on the camera and smudging up those 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 beautiful <laughs> uh, uh, rear facing cameras trying to access the fingerprint sensor. So that's reason number two. The fingerprint placement on the essential is absolutely perfect. It's where the fingerprint sensor ought to be. All right. So that's reason number two. Now. Reason number three, the bezel-less display experience. Oh, my God. Now, check this out, y'all. Look at this display, man. Look at this display. Now, is that not bezel-less? Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, y'all. If this ain't bezel-less, I don't know what is. All right? Now, a lot of people are used to seeing the Samsung devices. They've seen the S8 and the S8 Plus. They've seen the Note 8 here. You know what I mean? And what that bezel-less display looks like. And I mean, it's very it's very nice. Don't get me wrong. It's very nice. You know, but you still have got that, that, that very minimal, you know, chin and forehead at the top and bottom of the phone. So, I mean, when you navigate through this phone, of course, you're going to you're, you're still going to be touching off screen just because of how long the device is. See, the, the device, it's not that it's not wide, but it's really long from top to bottom. You see what I'm saying? The essential phone, this is a 5.7 inch display on a small footprint. My hands are very tiny. I can navigate and maneuver this phone easily with just one hand. You know, so so just the just the for the bezel-less display and the way it looks on the essential phone to me is much more attractive than the way it looks on the Note 8 there. You know, whenever I rock with the with the essential phone and I'm out and about and people see this phone, they're asking like, damn, what is that? I ain't never seen that. And I and I start explaining to them what it is and they're just blown away by it, you know. And, you know, unless you're a Sprint customer and you knew that they were carrying the essential phone exclusively or, you know, you're familiar with, you know, what's going on in the mobile world and you saw the essential phone. And chances are a lot of people aren't even going to have the essential phone because a lot of people haven't heard of it. You know what I'm saying? So when they see this, they're like, man, what the, like, what is that? Way more so than when I'm rocking my Note 8. You know what I mean? People have seen this before. You know what I mean? People haven't seen this. 
you know, so just the fact that there's only that minimal chin at the bottom and the rest is just all screen. The fact that the the uh, the front facing camera is smack dead in the middle, you know, as opposed to on either the right or left side. The receiver is right on top of that in a very thin, very thin. You can't even see it on the phone here or through the camera, but there's a very thin little slit right there where the receiver is. And it sounds amazing. I mean, some people were thinking, oh, well, what's that speaker going to sound like when you're on calls? Because it's so thin. It's almost like it's not there. It sounds amazing. It really does. It sounds like you're on a landline. Andy Rubin, man, he ain't no punk, man. He knew what he was doing when he was putting his phone together. You know what I mean? Now, you know, the release, that was, that was shady. You know what I'm saying? I mean, with, you know, all these promises and, you know, the phone's going to be out at this time and that time and all the delays and all that. Man, but now that the phone is out and I've used it, I'm not trying, you know, look, man, all you reviewers out there, man, you guys got your own opinions, man. You know what I'm saying? But I will tell you guys, don't listen to what people say about devices. Get your hands on them for yourself and let that be the judge. So many reviewers have reviewed this phone and they slammed it or they said it was good, but they said that the camera was faulty. And (laughs) I don't agree, man. I mean, again, I'm no professional photographer, but the camera on this phone is dope. It's already had like three or four updates. You know, you got some additional modes on it now. Um, You got HDR on it now. I mean, man, I mean, the the camera's solid. And, you know, you guys will see what I'm talking about when I put together, you know, if I finish editing this camera and video sample video that I'm doing on the Essential phone. Um, So... That's reason number three for me, man. Just the bezel-less look. I mean, you know, the essential phone just nails it. It kills that look, right? Reason number four. Reason number four. Now, you guys don't judge me on this, man, because there's been several videos that I've done, and I slammed stock Android. You know, I was like, it's plain, it's boring, it's featureless, or it's only got, like, minimal features, you know, and I like to have phones that have bells and whistles, and the more features and things you've got to play with, the better, and that's true in most cases. That's true in most cases, right? Now, the essential phone here, it's a stock Android experience, all right? Zero bloat. The reason why it's called the essential phone is because they only put on the device what they feel the essentials are and I'm sure they had to have done some type of survey and got a lot of people involved and got some opinions on what most people or what a lot of people feel the essentials are because it's like you know how could you come up with that idea without heavily scrutinizing and, 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 and interviewing and questioning you know people that have you know cell phones and getting ideas and thoughts and opinions on what the essentials really truly are I mean what the essentials may be to you may not be what I think the essentials are you know what I'm saying Um, you know, and some people feel like, oh, well, they call this phone the essential phone, but they left out wireless charging and they left out, you know, IP68 water and dust resistance. Look, check this out, y'all. I don't give a damn about no water and dust resistance. You know what I'm saying? I don't care about wireless charging, you know? I mean, wireless charging, I mean, uh, once it reaches, you know, the the ability to be able to charge as quickly as uh, slapping in my Type-C connector, then maybe I'll then maybe I'll be stressing over wireless charge. Waterproofing, look, I'm old school, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm straight out the 70s. I'm a 70s baby. I was always taught you don't put electronics in water. Now I understand it's 2017 and you got all these devices that you can you can submerge them and go swimming with them and take pictures with them. I don't give a damn about all that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, I mean, you know. No diss to any of you guys that use that as a determining factor as to why you would or would not get a device. No knock on y'all, but I'm just saying, me personally, I don't give a damn about no waterproofing. I don't give a shit about no wireless charging. You know what I'm saying? So to sit there and to slam this device because it doesn't have that and say that those aren't the essentials, according to who? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Um, so, you know, um, let, yeah, I'm getting off subject, man. Um, but yeah. The stock, the stock Android experience on the Essential phone just works. Now, on the Note 8 here, you already know. You've got the full Samsung suite, and it has the S Pen. So you've got the S Pen suite as well. And you already know that Samsung, there's already tons of bloatware that Samsung puts on a device, especially if it's from a carrier. Then you've also got the carrier bloatware that you got to worry about as well. Now, both of these phones are unlocked. I, b- I bought both of these phones from Best Buy, you know. 
Um, so, you know, zero bloatware on the essential phone. Zero bloatware. Other than just the, the standard, you know, Google apps that come on a stock Android Google device. Of course, now on the Note 8, you know, you've got all of the, you know, Samsung apps that they slap on there, you know, and you've got the S Pen with all of its glory and all of its applications and things that it does. And so there's a lot going on on the Note. And not to knock it, I mean, it's dope. A lot of the features and functionality that it has is really, it's, man, it's mind-blowing what the Note does. But again, as I mentioned earlier in the video, a lot of people may not be into all that stuff. A lot of people may just want just a simple android experience and the essential phone is going to give you that it's going to give you that it's not going to confuse you and complicate you you know or complicate things with the amount of stuff that it has on it or the amount of things that it can do it's very simple very basic and it's beautiful it's flawless and i love it you know what i mean this is one of the first devices that i've enjoyed a pure stock android experience because of how minimal it is you know it really works on the essential. Plus, on top of that, you'll probably, ain't no probably for sure, you're going to get updates way faster on the essential phone than you are going to get them on the Note 8. You know, that's that that's a plus. I mean, I feel like in my personal opinion, the stock Android experience on the essential phone is just like right on par with the stock Android experiences that are on the Pixels. Now, we already know as far as updates are concerned, the Pixels, I mean, they're going to get updates they're going to be the first phones to get the updates. You know what I mean? You know, the Pixel the Pixel 2 and the Pixel 2 XL, I mean, they're coming straight out of the box with Oreo. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, but from what I've source of different sources that I've been reading, there a matter of fact, I think they're starting the beta for Oreo on the Essential phone next week. So, I mean, you know, we could we could you know, we could see Oreo on the Essential, you know, here in a few weeks possibly. You know, I haven't seen any reports of the Note 8 getting updated to Oreo. Not to say that it's not going to, but I guarantee you it's not going to be faster than what it's going to be on the Essential phone here. So I like that. So so that's reason number four for me, you know, just the stock Android experience and how how well it works on the Essential phone over TouchWiz on the Galaxy Note 8. Now, the fifth and final reason, and I'm going to go ahead and close this video out. I didn't, I didn't intend for this video to be this long, but hey, it is what it is, man. Um, the build quality. The build quality. The essential phone is built with Corning Gorilla Glass 5 on the front, titanium on the sides and at the top and bottom surrounding the device. And then when you flip it over to the back, here, this is, this, this is what the back looks like. You can use it as a little mirror here. Here I am. What's up, y'all? Peace. You know what I'm saying? Moto Z2 Play. I'm recording this video. This is what the back looks like. This is ceramic. A ceramic back plate. Okay? Now, if you don't want to take my word for it, get on YouTube and just type in a central phone drop test versus the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 drop test. Watch those videos and let me know which phone withstood the pounding, the beating, that a cell phone can possibly take. Your essential phone is going to last every time much longer than your Note 8. If you drop your Note 8, you're screwed. You better have insurance or you better have it in a case. A Tech 21 preferably with a screen protector on it. If you can find a decent screen protector glass that won't ruffle up at the edges, you know, because it's hard to put a, it's, it's hard to put a glass screen protector on these Note 8s because they got those curved edges curving across, you know, curving around the sides and the back. You know what I mean? It's not just flat on the surface, on the front of the device, you know. Um, and so, you know, I, I still plan on getting the case for my essential phone here, but I've been I've been rocking it butt naked, man. I've been rocking it bucket naked, y'all. You know what I mean? And thankfully for me, I don't drop my devices, but I mean, I do plan on getting a case because, you know, mistakes happen. You know, I'm sure a lot of people that dropped it, that dropped their devices, they didn't mean to drop them. You know, the phone slipped out of their pocket or, you know, they were going to slip it into their pocket and wasn't paying attention. And, you know, they let it go thinking it was going into their pocket and it hit the floor or the, the concrete or whatever. You know, shit happens. You know what I'm saying? Um, 
But uh, when you know when 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 a lot of people feel comfortable with rocking their phones, butt butt ass naked, and they're not tripping over a case, that that's got to that's got to stand that's got to mean something. It, you know, it means to me that man, you know, that, that phone was built extremely durably. You really don't need a case with this phone. You know what I mean? It's built that tough. I would just recommend it because again, you're paying. Almost 800 bucks for this phone. So you want to protect your investment. You always want to respect the tech. You know, that's my motto. But it's not really a necessity. You know, um, so those are my top five reasons as to why I think that the essential phone is better than the Galaxy Note 8. Okay, number one was the price. Number two was the fingerprint sensor. Number three. The bezel-less display and the way it looks, how I think it looks better on the Essential phone than it does the Note 8. Number four, stock Android on the Essential as opposed to TouchWiz and all of its bloatware on the Samsung suite. And number five, the build quality. Those are my top five reasons as to why I think that the Essential phone is a better buy than the Galaxy Note 8. That's all I got for this video. If you feel similar or you want to talk to me about it or you hating and or you want to voice your opinion, you guys already know, man. Leave your comments in the comments below, and I'd love to start a discussion about this, man. Again, this is a matter of opinion. Respect my opinion, and I'll respect yours. Stay tuned for the full pristine reviews for the Essential Phone and the Galaxy Note 8 coming very soon. I'm still working on editing for both the camera sample and the video sample videos for both of these devices, so stay tuned for those as well. And until the next video, y'all, you already know. Keep it safe in everything that you do. Please get spiritually fit. Never put off until tomorrow what you can do today. If you haven't got saved, if you haven't submitted your life to Christ, please do. He's always will God is always willing to start over. He will meet you right where you are in your life. All you got to do is trust him, trust and believe in him, and accept him as your Lord and Savior. People, we are living in the last days, man. You know, when when 60 people lose their lives. In Vegas, at a country at a country music concert festival, just hanging out, just trying to listen to some music, get away for a little bit. Not one of those people went to that event knowing that they weren't coming home. And over 500 plus injured. This is a sick world that we're living in, ladies and gentlemen. And, you know, for you guys that wonder why I say these things at the end of my videos, because YouTube is an open platform to do and say just about whatever. You know, and I'm a firm believer in Christ. I'm saved. I'm not perfect, but I'm saved. God's working on me every day, all day. I'm nowhere near perfect. But I feel like it's my responsibility to witness and tell people about how good his love, grace, and his mercy is and how it saved me and how I can save you as well. You know what I mean? So get right with Christ, man. We're definitely living in the last days. And I'll catch you guys in the next video, man. Keep it pristine in all your lives. All right, y'all. This is the essential phone. This is the Note 8. We out.